Hello, welcome to Dr. T Academy. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a PowerPoint presentation, a pretty good one, in just under 10 minutes. Pretty much everything you need to know to get, get the ball ro rolling in just under 10 minutes. So you open your PowerPoint pre presentation, come here, click on the blank presentation, then we'll click on that, open that. The first slide you're going to see is called the title slide. Now, of course, you need the title for your presentation. So let's, uh, I don't know, let's create a title here. Okay. Okay. Here is a title, Dr. T Institute of Academics. A subtitle, if you want to put a subtitle. I don't know, maybe I'm going to write something like the best of the best. Okay, um, I want to change the fonts. Maybe I want to make it a bit larger. Larger. Instead of just highlighting the whole thing, you can just go Control A. That may be easier for you. Make it maybe 40. I want to change the color. Um, maybe this color bluish. Maybe I want to tilt it. Maybe I want to change the font. I like personally Calibri body, but let's say. I want to change this particular fo uh, phone to monotype. I think it's called monotype Cors corsive or corsiva, something like that. Corsiva, monotype corsiva. So I like this kind of look. All right, this one I want to make it maybe bold. Um, maybe increase the size to 80. All right. So. Okay, let's put this up here. And now, next thing, suppose I want to add a picture to this slide, my very first slide. So suppose I want to add any picture. Let's go here to the, um, to the net. Suppose I like this picture for some reason. It's just a silly picture, but I go copy image and I come here um i can do right click and i can copy the picture okay and resize it here from the corner resize it and move it around so let's say i want to put it right here in this corner this big and that's it all right now let's say i want to i want to change the design now this is the plain design i come here to design and just Hovering my mouse over these different designs, it'll show you different designs that you can have for your slides. So let's assume let's assume I want to use this this design right here. Okay, let's settle on this for now. And as you can see, this became darker in color. Let's go back to home and let's change this maybe to a yellow color. All right. Now let's add another slide. How do I add another slide? I can either point the mouse here, click at the bottom here under this slide. This line appears. Now I can right click and say new slide, voila, where um, I can add a title here to the new slide and some text. Or I can click here under this slide and I can go here where it says new slide and I can choose the kind of slide I want. So the one that just popped out was uh, popped up was title and content, or I can choose another form of how I want it to look. Maybe this kind of slide, okay? Just like pictures, pictures, text, text, text. Let's delete this. I like this right here personally. So let's say I want to talk about. Um, Math. This is my title of this slide. Math. Um, and the text. What do I want to say about math? Math. Um, I want to talk about, for example, the importance of building a proper math foundation 
at the elim elementary level, for example. And then I continue and, and so on. Now I want to do another sl uh, slide here. Same thing, I can just right click, new slide, and here I have new slide. Now let's say I feel that this slide needs to go above this one, and this one needs to be brought down. All I have to do is just drag it, see, and drag it back. That's all. Let's say I want to insert a slide right between these two slides. I say, oh, I forgot one. So just click with the mouse, left click here, and then a right click, no slide. And there you go. You have an, a slide that has been inserted right between them. Okay, to delete, you just click on any of them, delete, delete. Okay, let's add back a new slide. And let's say I want to add um, a table, for example, from Excel. Okay, so adding a table from Excel. So let's come here to an Excel file. Here's a table I made real quick. So I'm gonna highlight the cells that I want. I'm gonna do Control A or right click copy. No, sorry, not Control A. Right click copy, okay, Control C is what I meant. Control C or right click copy. Now I'm gonna come here, I have two options to copy this uh, table. I can do a control V or just right click paste as the cells or right click paste as a picture. Okay, the other thing control V which pastes it. All right, what's the difference here? So here we copied this as a picture. Now as a picture, of course, the copy is perfect. So I can expand it and everything inside expands if I make it bigger or make it smaller. Now here, if I expand it with a control V, the letter size, the font size inside will not expand, but I can edit it. If it's not copied as a picture, I can come here and edit this very easily. See, I can change to 201, for example. So, if I want to change the fonts and edit is very easy. I can change also the fonts. Um, let's see, I can do a control A here inside and change everything inside inside that table to let's say a 13 size font. So that made it a little bigger. I can make it bold, um, bold if I want or not. So that's the difference is if you copy them as cells, you can edit edit them if you copy them as picture you won't be able to edit them, but resizing it immediately resizes everything for you. So this is about adding a table from Excel. Okay, now let's add something else here. Let's add a slide. Suppose you want to um, add a chart or a bar chart or a pie. So I'm gonna come here, insert, um, let's say I wanna add a bar chart, okay? This column, yeah, that's fine. Let's choose this one right here, not this one. Okay, a stacked column, fine. <clears throat> okay, and immediately you see the cells pop up here. Now, categories, let's say I want to compare um, the sales of particular candy bars in the North American continent. So let's say I have US, I have Canada, and I have Mexico. I'm gonna delete the last column, I don't need it, the last row I mean. And what am I comparing? Let's say the sales of the Mars bar, Twix and KitKat. And I'm gonna assume a percentage in my mind, like, like that the sales of Mars in the US took 60%. Um, and let's say the sales of Canada took maybe uh, 20, let's say 15%. 
and let's say here another 25% right okay all right yeah, for the Twix for Twix let's say in the US I don't know 50% for KitKat let's assume 40% in Canada maybe um, I live in Canada and I know, I know KitKat sales are high here are high here so let's assume in Canada also 40% 20% in Mexico and let's say here 25% 25% okay so here is my chart let's close this table here is my bar charts all adjusted I'm gonna resize it just a little bit okay so I can tell here that in the US here's the legend Mars Twix so in the US, they like, I guess, Mars most, and then Twix, and then KitKat. Here, they like KitKat more in Canada and Mexico. They're all about the same, almost. So, North American um, chocolate bar sales for example this is the title here all right that's okay now let's add a, another new slide and this time I want to make a pie almost the same as what we did there but I want it to be in a pie form so insert um, let's go to charts here but let's choose pie and okay that and the same thing here let's say in the first quarter quarter we had um let's say we had most of our sales were in the first quarter let's say 40 percent in the second quarter we did let's say 15 percent um third quarter we did really poor let's say 10 percent um what do we have here 50 65 and let's say here we finished kind of strong on the fourth quarter 35 percent so let's close this and this is our sales pie by quarter sales by quarter okay and so on you keep going until you finish your slides and you can so many things here you can add you can add shapes you can add many things you can add a text box let's see let's say I want to add the text box here so I come here insert under insert I come here where it says text box so let's open a text box and let's say I want to say that first quarter so I'm gonna expand this. I was typing in it. Okay. So let's say the first quarter um, was f which month? Let's say this. It was January, February, and March. This is just a note. I want to say. So when I want to move this text box, I want it to be right here on the side. Just a little extra note that my quarter st started basically in January okay so I think now we have enough information um, yeah, to create your first nice presentation you can add bar charts pictures um, Excel table I think you have very uh, good information to create a really nice presentation so good luck and you can always come back and change the design to something else it doesn't it's just a click of a button thank you hope you enjoyed this uh, short uh, video and i hope it will be very informative and like us and subscribe take good care bye